In physics, a forbidden mechanism or forbidden line is a spectral line emitted by atomic nuclei, atoms, or molecules undergoing nominally forbidden energy transitions not normally allowed by the selection rules of quantum mechanics. Obviously, any process which is truly forbidden will not happen. The typical usage of this term is in a situation where, according to usual approximations, the process cannot happen. But at a higher level of approximation the process is allowed but at a much lower rate. A simple everyday example is glow-in-the-dark materials. They absorb light and form an excited state whose decay involves a spin flip, and is therefore forbidden by electric dipole transitions. The result is emission of light slowly over minutes or hours. This process is known technically as phosphorescence. Although the transitions are nominally forbidden, there is a small probability of their spontaneous occurrence, should an atomic nucleus, atom or molecule be raised to an excited state. More precisely, there is a certain probability that such an excited entity will make a forbidden transition to a lower energy state per unit time. By definition, this probability is much lower than that for any transition permitted or allowed by the selection rules. Therefore, if a state can do excite via a permitted transition it will almost certainly do so before any transition occurs via a forbidden route. Nevertheless, most forbidden transitions are only relatively unlikely. States that can only decay in this way usually have lifetimes on the order milliseconds to seconds, compared to less than a microsecond for decay via permitted transitions. In some radioactive decay systems, multiple levels of forbiddenness can stretch lifetimes by many orders of magnitude for each additional unit by which the system changes beyond what is most allowed under the selection rules such excited states can last years or even for many billions of years in radioactive decay gamma decay the most common mechanism for suppression of the rate of gamma decay of excited atomic nuclei and thus make possible the existence of a metastable isomer for the nucleus is lack of a decay route for the excited state that will change nuclear angular momentum by the most common amount of one quantum unit of spin angular momentum such a change is necessary to emit a gamma photon, which has a spin of one unit in this system. Integral changes of two, three, four, and more units in angular momentum are possible, but changes of more than one unit are known as forbidden transitions. Each degree of forbiddenness inhibits decay rate by about five orders of magnitude. The highest known spin change of eight units occurs in the decay of tar 180 meters which suppresses its decay by a factor of 1035 from that associated with one unit, so that instead of a natural gamma decay half-life of 10 minus 12 seconds, it has a half-life of more than 1023 seconds, or at least 3 by 1015 years, and thus has yet to be observed to decay. Although gamma decays with nuclear angular momentum changes of 2, 3, 4, etc. are forbidden, they are only relatively forbidden, and do proceed, but with a slower rate than the normal, allowed, change of one unit. However, gamma emission is absolutely forbidden when the nucleus begins in a zero spin state, as such an emission would not conserve angular momentum. These transitions cannot occur by gamma decay, but must proceed by another route, such as beta decay in some cases, or internal conversion where beta decay is not favored. Beta decay Beta decays here are classified according to the L value of the emitted radiation. Unlike gamma decays, beta decays may proceed from a nucleus with a spin of zero and even parity, to a nucleus also with a spin of zero and even parity. This is possible because the electron and neutrino emitted may be of opposing spin, thus preserving angular momentum of the initial state even if the nucleus remains at spin zero before and after emission. This type of emission is super allowed, meaning that it is the most rapid type of beta decay in nuclei that are susceptible to a change in proton-neutron ratios that accompanies a beta decay process. 
The next possible total angular momentum of the electron and neutrino emitted in beta decay is a combined spin of 1, and is allowed. This type of emission changes nuclear spin by a unit of 1 to compensate. States involving higher angular momenta of the emitted radiation are forbidden, and are ranked in degree of forbiddenness by their increasing angular momentum. Specifically, when del greater than zero, the decay is referred to as forbidden. Nuclear selection rules require L values greater than 2 to be accompanied by changes in both nuclear spin and parity. The selection rules for the 50th forbidden transitions are, where delta pi equals 1 or minus 1 corresponds to no parity change or parity change, respectively. As noted, the special case of a Fermi 0 plus 0 plus transition is referred to as super allowed for beta decay and proceeds very quickly if beta decay is possible. The following table lists the delta J and delta pi values for the first few values of L. As with gamma decay, each degree of increasing forbiddenness increases the half-life of the beta decay process involved by a factor of about 4 to 5 orders of magnitude. In solid-state physics, Forbidden transitions in rare earth atoms such as erbium and neodymium make them useful as dopants for solid-state lasing media. In such media, the atoms are held in a matrix which keeps them from de-exciting by collision, and the long half-life of their excited states makes them easy to optically pump to create a large population of excited atoms. Neodymium doped glass derives its unusual coloration from forbidden FF transitions within the neodymium atom, and is used in extremely high power solid state lasers. Bulk semiconductor transitions can also be forbidden by symmetry, which change the functional form of the absorption spectrum, as can be shown in a talc plot. In astrophysics, Forbidden emission lines have only been observed in extremely low-density gases and plasmas, either in outer space or in the extreme upper atmosphere of the Earth. Even the hardest laboratory vacuum on Earth is still too dense for forbidden line emission to occur before atoms are collisionally de-excited. However, in space environments, densities may be only a few atoms per cubic centimeter, making atomic collisions unlikely. Under such conditions, once an atom or molecule has been excited for any reason into a metastable state, then it is almost certain to decay by emitting a forbidden line photon. Since metastable states are rather common, forbidden transitions account for a significant percentage of the photons emitted by the ultra-low density gas in space. Forbidden lines of nitrogen, sulfur, and oxygen are commonly observed in astrophysical plasmas. These lines are important to the energy balance of such things as planetary nebulae and H2 regions. The forbidden 21 cm hydrogen line is particularly important for radio astronomy as it allows very cold neutral hydrogen gas to be seen. Notation forbidden line transitions are noted by placing square brackets around the atomic or molecular species in question, e.g., O3 or S2.